YouTube channel. I'm Rosie Henshaw and if you're new here then welcome, it's lovely to meet you. And if you're already existing then hi guys, welcome back. So I'm videoing a little bit random today because obviously I can't edit so I don't know how to do the little intro first and then show you. So I'm doing it like this but we're going to start off in the living room anyway because, not that I've done massive updates in here, but we did buy a new rug from Ikea um, and I'm absolutely in love with it. And the reason I want to show it to you before we show the boys' bedroom, because I'm going to show the boys' bedroom update, is because this um, rug I actually wanted from Next online, and it was £230, but actually for the same size, 200 by 300 it was £80 on Ikea. Now, you, if you have an Ikea store near you, then that's brilliant. If not, you may have to pay delivery, which is about £40 I paid for delivery, but I had loads of furniture for the boys' bedroom. Um, oh hello darling are you having a nap are you having a chilled out one so I just wanted to share the rug because these like sort of like jute pulled knotted rugs are really in fashion at the minute they look like there's loads of little bits on it it isn't it's driving me mad a little bit I won't lie um, it's like you get larger knots through it it makes it look more rustic I have ordered another one to come to go in here to go with the um to go not to go in here sorry to go in the U. I keep saying the wrong room to go into the playroom well the conservatory so i'm going to take you upstairs because this is a um boys bedroom update so obviously i thought there's no mirror in the boys bedroom and i wanted you to be able <laughs> to have a little intro first so now as we come into the boys bedroom if you see the home tour before then you'll see that it's quite different so as we come into the boys bedroom you walk in and first off you see Archie's bed. That was from Asta, the yellow metal bed. I did obviously say that in my home tour, but I'll give a run through if anyone hasn't seen this. Also got some fun in Union Jack. So in here, we didn't want really to spend a lot of money, but they'd run out of storage in their bedroom. So we said, well, we'll go to Ikea because that's kind of the cheapest place we could find to get some nice new modern furniture. Oh, all that breath from walking upstairs. So these chests of drawers, they're 80 centimetres wide by 105 um, high. No, no, no. Are they the 105? Yeah, the four drawers are 105. Um, and there's, they're a set of three that we've just put next to each other. But what I like about IKEA furniture is you can slot it like that and it looks like it's a big custom built cupboard. Um, still got quite a few toys out, but they had so many toys in just a small cupboard. So these are actually £60 each, which I think is really, really reasonable, considering even some of the cheaper stores like The Range and B&M, they cost a lot more money. So in the drawers, please don't, don't judge me, I don't have drawer porn. My drawers are not something that you would aspire to have. I don't iron clothes unless we're wearing them. So I've got t-shirts, long sleeve and Ryan necks. Then they've got like knitted jumpers, sweaters, more knitted jumpers. They are really, I'm not a drawer person. I, I find I don't have enough time hours in the day if I wanted to keep these perfect behind the drawers as well. So like they're sporty tracksuits and stuff for football. They hold loads of room. So we've got some like shorts. They should be a little bit neater. Some jeans and some trousers. And then we've got like just some shirts aftershaves it makes me die that they wear aftershave and some hair gel a bit empty i do want to get some of them nice little baskets to put in here to arrange their stuff a bit neater and um, i've seen that they've got them in home bargains but they didn't have the size so we've got some like socks and pants you're going to really all be judging me now like what what is wrong with you pajamas some of them ain't even paired up <laughs> dressing gowns and onesies i'm that mum so obviously in them two drawers is school uniform and then they've just got some like football gear, but I won't show you them because obviously they've got their team names and stuff like them um, and their school uniform logos on. Not that you're particularly interested in what's going on inside the drawers anyway. I absolutely love this print. If you didn't see the um, home tour, this print is actually Gary's dad's. Um, Gary's dad's sadly no longer with us, but this was his when he was younger um, and his granddad got it framed and put up. Oh, I just thought it was really cool to have in the boys' bedroom. Bit of a grown-up poster, granted, but I just love all the bright colours and it was sort of the idea behind the whole rest of the bedroom. So Alfie's got the same bed and they've just got some bedding that was like a double set from Asda and they've got their little quilts on. Um, these little throws, they actually are stars and stripes, so like the American theme. But I just have them folded out like that for now. Some Union Jack cushions. And um, they've also got their little iron drums. So these look like little oil drums. Um, but they're not actually metal. They're made from like a fake leather. And they've got like little um, toys in there, Lego and stuff like that. Oh, that a breath. So on this wall, they had a little chest. 
um, that I'd got from the second hand store and I'd sort of painted it up, made it look all kind of like rustic and industrial. But I didn't want to spend a lot in here. So the desk actually was £60 from Ikea and I think it's really good because you have two little drawers in here. And they just keep their little colouring stuff and their pencils. I've got the little lamp from B&M for £10. They've kept a little bus like a little basket, a little bucket under there for like waste paper and stuff. And um, they've got the little A's above their bed. What is that? Oh, I saw Spider-Man coming through. And also on my channel, you'd have seen, if you watch it, um, I've got these barn stars. So I painted one in a nice colour grey and one in red. And I just think that adds a little bit of something because it's quite bare there. Um, and the chairs. I absolutely love these chairs. Let me turn them around so you can see them fully. How gorgeous are these? How gorgeous are these chairs? They are so lovely. And they are £50 from Ikea, so a little bit more pricey um, for the chairs. But these chairs online from TK Maxx or any other store, like Maison de Monde I saw them on, um, were a lot more expensive than that. It was about £90, £100. So I do want to get some like little navy pom-pom cushions that they've got from Next to go on there. And I do need to get a rug for in here because the boy Bertie chewed up the boys Union Jack rug. Um, so I thought I'd show you look because I am not that mum that irons the bed sheets and I don't iron clothes unless my kids wear them because they go through their drawers and absolutely just pull anything out and start whacking it on so there's no point. Also if you're wondering for storage, under Alfie's bed he's got like rep lined up all the trucks and the cars. Sorry the lighting's terrible, it's like a really foggy day. Um, and I've got loads of these little boxes. I'm going to get one out. So I've got these boxes from Home Bargains. And they are literally a really good bargain. So they did have a little sticker on the side of a dinosaur. So you can keep that on. And the pink ones, I've got some in Millie's bedroom. And um, these are £3.49 each. And the dinosaur sticker come off. And the girls' ones are unicorn with a pink lid. So I just took the sticker off. Oh. And literally just have like one for cars. One for like um, little action men, one for like, you know, like you get those tiny little figures that they have. And we just store all of their like little bits and pieces, so like little action figures. We are going to be doing the summer house um, that's at the end of the garden up this summer, so that's going to be a big project. And we did have a chest of drawers in the boys' bedroom that I painted up, so some like additional dark tiles and dolls. Um, and I did get one of these baskets, so I'll show you what the ones I'm talking about for the boys' drawers that I really, really want, but they've sold out. So they, these little baskets. So I want to get a few of these because I think these would be really handy in their drawers to keep thing, or, things organised. Can't get my words out now, can I? Oh. So if anyone can recommend, oh, let me get up now. I'll give you a little tour around just the last little bit. On the bedroom, just so that you can see a little update. But I think if you've got a teenager or young kids and they need a desk for homework, IKEA is really, really, really decent prices and stuff like that. So this is the boys' bedroom. It's their little update. Thought I'd share it with you, and I thought I'd share with you the fact that I am definitely not like hashtag mum goals. I don't iron stuff unless they're wearing it. Got a few toys behind their door, like they're tall, bulky things that they can't put away. And um, yeah, so the summer house, you can kind of see it through the window out in the garden. It's a big building. It covers up like, the whole width of the garden. So that's going to be a project because they've got some really big toys that we want to sort of turn that into like a play den down there for them. So I'll be putting that on the channel. Hopefully I can do like a fast forward edit so you can see it in the process as well. But if you know anywhere where I could get kind of like a bright coloured rug or a really nice navy rug, would you let me know? Because I have seen the pom-pom ones from Next. But I think it might be a little bit, I don't know, with a dog. Because Bertie always comes up here and just sits on the floor and watches the boys now while they're at their desks. Um, so I just thought, a nice little rug, perhaps not navy, but something a little bit brighter so you wouldn't see so many like puppy hairs on it. Because I am up here daily hoovering it, but you know. Um, any nice rugs so that I can get something that would go with their bedroom. So I'm going to be doing Millie's bedroom. Look, it just follows me everywhere, look. Following mummy, you following mummy? He's like, yeah, I'm asleep. Leave me alone. So, yeah, I'm gonna go back down now. A little update. I've also like I always change little bits around on here after Christmas and that as well. So, 
There's a little update. So once the other rug comes, I'll show you a little update at the playroom. And I do want to get some new cushions in here as well, because I think like the cushions in here, they're getting a little bit grubby. Had them for like about two years now. Um, well, two of them I haven't. I actually had them for about since the summer, but I'm going to be keeping them ones. Um, and yeah, hopefully you enjoyed this. It was only like a quick little video just to show you a little update because I've been saying that I've been putting furniture up in the boys' bedroom and a few people have actually asked and said, well, we've got children that we'd like to buy a desk for, so if you can show us. So what I'll do is I'll show the new rug out in the playroom, like a little update, as well as the same day when I show Millie's bedroom. Because Millie's got a new desk in there now. We've had a little clear out in there, put a little mirror up, made it look really cute. And she's got a little swivel chair in hers. So I'm going to show that once that's delivered. That's been delivered after school today. And so is the other rug. I've got the um, notification come through. So take care. Have a lovely rest of your week. And, and obviously have a lovely weekend if you don't see me for my try on hauls. Um, look at me, I'm like, la 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 stuttering. It's because I'm out of breath. It's my cleaning day today, so I've been rushing around cleaning, getting things tidy, and now I'm out of breath from being up and down the stairs. So I'm going to let you go. Take care. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Press the notification bell if you want to see when my videos are coming, and have a fantastic week. Bye!